Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello. Um, so today's reading and the daily reflection, I've got to say I, I, I'm falling in love with this book more and more. I've read it over the years, but <coughs> I have, because I'm reading it to you, I have to think about it more and see it in a different way. And, and uh, so today's reading, uh, like a fair amount of this month's reading in October, is on the, you know, the practical of the program, uh, the mechanics of AA, and, and uh, um, as much as it is on the spirituality or the connection with, with God. And, and uh, today is, is no exception. It's a, Avoiding Controversy is the title, October 31st. All history, it says, affords us the spectacle of striving nations and groups finally torn asunder because they were designed for or tempted into controversy. Because they were designed for or tempted into controversy. Orders fell apart because of, the, of sheer self-righteousness while trying to enforce upon the rest of mankind some millennium of their own specification. So uh, we're peddling our wares, you know, we're trying to make uh, our way the only way. It's funny, with AA, we don't do that. We work with everybody. And so in the recovery world, which has become a recovery business for so many, AA doesn't have any opinion, you know, and... and uh, uh, people take the program of AA into the treatment centers, and 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 that's okay. We're we don't have a an opinion, you know, on what works and doesn't work. Um, I think that all kinds of self examination, uh, and this is not AA's opinion; this is mine. All kinds of self examination is complementary to this pathway to a spiritual experience. And uh, if you're an alcoholic and you get to know yourself better because you spend a lot of time with a therapist, that's, um, I think that's complimentary, you know, or, or with a counselor, that's complimentary, or in a treatment center, that's complimentary uh, to this experience of, of um, having a God consciousness. You know, eventually, if we're truly alcoholic, we realize our powerlessness, that self-knowledge doesn't really save our ass. But it's complimentary. And, and uh, um, so, you know, what eventually for the real alcoholic or addict saves our ass is this relationship with, with, with consciousness, with a higher power, with love, with God as we understand them or don't understand them. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, that's been my experience and seems to be where the steps take us. And then the further writing on this, it says, as an AA member and sponsor, I know I can cause real damage if I yield to the temptation and give opinions and advice on another's medical, uh, maternal, uh, mater ma marital, sorry, medical, marital, or religious problems. I'm not a doctor, counselor, or lawyer. I cannot tell how he or she should live. However, I can share how I came through similar situations without drinking, and how AA steps and traditions help me in dealing with my life. Hmm. It's, it's so, I love this. I really do. And uh, um, for, in my own situation, relying on my experience, I mean, because I've been sober coming up <laughs> 43 years, uh, you know, I have some experience with the uh, uh, marital. I had two very successful marriages, and I, I sometimes joke they were short, but they were successful. And, uh, you know, I have two wonderful women in my life who, uh, you know, I still have great relationships with. And those, when people talk to me about, you know, divorce and, and or, or, or yeah, well, let's talk about that for a second. Divorce. I mean, I, I, I do. I'm able to share that, that, uh, how well it went, in a way, how well it went, 
And uh, the same with parenting. You know, I have three wonderful kids and, and five grandchildren. And, you know, I am able to share a bit about parenting, and, and uh, which is really missing a lot in our lives, uh, how to talk to dads in recovery. That's really become kind of my specialty is dads in recovery. Um, it's so easy for us to kind of run away and, and to imagine that we've been chased away when we, we maybe we ran away. And uh, um, kids need their dads. Just no question, kids need their dads. And I'm so blessed to have, you know, you know one of the fears that many, many men have in, in uh, recovery is that their kids are going to be alcoholics or addicts like themselves. And boy, that's not a, a, a you know, that's not, not an unfounded fear. It's a legitimate fear. And, you know, so if that's the case, they need us to be close and to carry the message of, of recovery. Uh, recovery is contagious. And uh, yeah, they need us to be close. So there, there's a, even though we don't give advice, we, many of us do have a lifetime of experience, you know, that's been, that's been um, helpful in recovery that we can share. And uh, um, the, primarily the job of the sponsor is to take the person through the steps. You know, if we do the steps together, out of the book, wow, powerful shit happens. Anyway, that's it for me. Um, meditation on Monday nights, big book study. We're getting this week into six and seven, and uh, and the Mexico trip is is uh, lots of folks are considering, and we'll see how that unfolds. I'm excited about the possibilities of coming to Mexico. I see it as a bit of an accelerator on steps ten, eleven, and uh, we look at ourselves and in the light of the of the. Uh, this book and the light of the big book and and uh, you know we see ourselves we see where we've been selfish where we've been self-centered where we've been dishonest where we've been f fearful often hard to see you know often, sometimes a newcomer comes into AA and says I don't have any fear <laughs> just not very self-aware and uh, so um, that's it Love you guys, lots and lots and lots. And uh, remember to subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube or share it if you like. Um, and uh, um, gonna kind of gr growing the YouTube channel a little bit. It, uh, it's uh, slow, but it's some, it happens some. So yeah, so you subscribe or make a comment uh, if you're watching on YouTube. Okay, love you lots, cheers, bye.